also find it interesting, Minister, that when you are not in this House um, and under the order of business on a regular basis, we have senators who call for your resignation and say that you should resign because of the disastrous situation that we find ourselves in with health care. But when you come into the House, they're strangely silent or strangely mute. I take the view that if I say something when you're not here, I would say it when you are here, which is that you should resign. And you should resign as Minister for Health for a whole range of uh, reasons. But even if, you are, even if you resign and if you're replaced with a Minister of a like mind, we're still going to have the same uh, policy uh, positions and the same disaster that we have in our health uh, service. Uh, we had the complete disaster of the medical cards, which has now been acknowledged by yourself, has been acknowledged by the Taoiseach, has been a complete fiasco, has been unfair on all of those. The debate we're having now. Has been, has been unfair. But it's, it's very linked to the, 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 the debate because I'm going to get to that. It's been, um, it's been a complete disaster. And if we go back to your vision for healthcare, if you can call it that, where you want to open up then healthcare to the private health insurance market completely, uh, and you promised free GP care for all, it was one of your core commitments as Minister for Health, you were going to deliver this. What did you deliver? Less medical cards for people, people who need them, people who had medical, medical cards. Medical cards in the history of the state, Senator, so correct the record. Because there's people, Senator, have, more, on health people have more please. medical cards. I can speak on whatever issue I want. I have six minutes. Um, it's a second Senator, stage speech. The, the and, bill, can, and we're talking about health insurance reform bill 2014. We're talking about health care and we're talking no, about the private health, health insurance, insurance market. Reform bill. I'll speak to whatever I want to speak to. Well, you'll be out uh, of order. Sure. With respect. The chair so, will rule you out and, of order. And, well, you can the rule me out of order all you want, but, but never I will, I will exactly, I will, I will, I will uh, outline to the Minister what are the important issues for people outside this House. And the people outside this House are worried about these issues. They're the people who are bearing the brunt of losing their medical cards. The reason why more people have medical cards is because people have lost their jobs. People are in low-paid jobs. That's the reason why. But the reality is this, and you have to accept it, People have lost their discretionary medical cards because of a change of policy by your uh, government, and that is what has happened. And uh, your vision for healthcare in terms of the private health insurance market has failed. It has been an absolute failure. It's not going to work. You haven't been able to deliver it. And I can't let uh, this uh, occasion go when you are in this chamber not to remind you of what's happening in my own city of Waterford where we don't have dermatology, uh, proper dermatology services. How you can stand over that as Minister for Health? How, I don't know how you can stand over, over that as Minister for Health in a region which has very high levels of cancer, as the Minister knows, where we have consultants who have left, they haven't been replaced, and are without proper dermatology services is completely I can't warn is you completely again. Don't have to warn uh, you again. If you speak on the bill that we're speaking on. It's not a general discussion on the health. Can service. you remind me what the bill is about? It's the health insurance. Health, health thank insurance. You, thank you for that. Health it's about insurance. Healthcare. And this what is the Minister for Health. 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 And this is the Minister for Health. No, health is the Minister. This is the Minister for Health. I'm going to call the next speaker if you don't. This is the Minister. I have six minutes, and I will continue with my contribution. You have six minutes. You have one minute left. And I will continue with one minute with my. I will continue to go into the subject. I will continue with my contribution because the Minister needs to hear what people outside this house and indeed what people inside the house are saying when he's not here. And I will finish on this, Minister. The reality is that a market-driven approach to health care is not going to work. One where we open it up more to private health insurance is not going to work. The only system that will work, the only system that will be fair, the only system that will be equitable is one where it's funded through general taxation, delivered free at the point of, uh, of delivery, uh, and based on equality and based on health need and health need alone. And that's the only way in which health care should be uh, provided. Uh, and any other way, uh, I think, is going to continue the two-tier system that we have and the inequalities that we have in uh, health care. Uh, and as long as you are Minister for Health and as long as there is a Fine Gael Minister for Health, I think we're going to get more of the same, unfortunately. Gurv